how is COVID-19 or coronavirus affecting the print on demand industry? That's exactly what I want to cover in this video. I've been asked in a few comments to actually make a video on this and there's actually quite a lot to say. So that's exactly what I want to make. And if you saw an ad at the beginning of this video, in the middle of this video or any point in this video, I just wanted to tell you any, any videos that I make around this topic I will donate all the ad money now there isn't really that much ad money because I don't get that many views but on the very few views that I do get and the very small amount of money that I do get from any videos like this I will donate them all probably to the NHS or areas of help regarding coronavirus so I just wanted to make that point so that you know that I'm not just jumping on the bandwagon and trying to profit off these kind of videos because I'm not Right, let's 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 go into it now. I just want to say before <clears throat> before I, um, I list out the reasons for and the reasons against and just the overall verdict of whether or not you should do it, you should sell print on demand T-shirts at this time. Before I do that, I just want to quickly say I've got a really cool special announcement right at the end. It's just like a little sneak peek that something that me and my brother are working on and I feel like it will really, really help you, especially during this period of time where everyone is just trying to save as much money as possible. So there's that. And there's also, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, hit the subscribe button down below. I'm, my, 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 uh, my what is it? My subscriber rate is going up and it's going through the roof and it's really, really good. And I'm just trying to get to 10,000 subscribers. So hit that subscribe button and let's just get right into this video. So I wanna list just a few different ideas on the matter and then I'll actually go into it further. So starting with this idea that the majority of people are now saving money more than spending money is very true in the sense that people have gone into like save mode, panic mode, whatever. So the only things that people are actually buying are essentials like groceries, things from shops like Tesco or Walmart or whatever, food, living thing, toilet roll, that, that kind of stuff. People are going crazy buying that kind of stuff. However, are people still buying normal stuff? Well, I've actually got a few stats on my computer here because I've been doing a bit of research to find out how the retail industry has been impacted by this. Now, any brick and mortar shop, anything like Primark or a Nike superstore or something like that, anything like that, they are obviously being massively, massively impacted because no one is able to go to them. And the majority of them, I think all of them at this point, are probably shut. So in terms of offline retail, yes, that has taken a huge hit. And I actually read somewhere that, I don't remember the exact number, but it was in the billions that would be lost in 2020 due to what is actually going on. However, however, what is happening online and that is what we want to discuss because we need to figure out if online sales are still either staying the same or going up and that's how we can kind of determine whether or not it's worth it to sell print on demand t-shirts okay because if, if online is also massively declined that's quite a sign that people are pretty much just saving and not spending online however that's not the case 50% of Chinese and 31% of Italian consumers say they are using e-commerce more frequently. So that means that they are actually spending more money online more frequently. And in my mind, that does actually make so much sense just because you're at home all day. What are three things you're going to be doing? Eating. There are a few people working, obviously. Um, so eating, watching movies, online gaming, and then online shopping. Those are probably three of the main things that you're going to be doing besides obviously those who are working from home because let's face it a lot of people aren't actually working from home so it makes sense for something like this to actually create a boom effect for online retail so the only thing now that could really slow down your sales is are the t-shirt companies or the print-on-demand companies are they still are they still working? Are they still fulfilling orders? Because that's very important. If they're not fulfilling orders, then the people who buy your t-shirts aren't going to be able to get them and that will probably have quite a bad impact on whether or not you get sales. And the other side of it is the advertising companies, are they able to keep up with all the people that are advertising on their companies when a lot of their employees are now doing a lot less work? Because Facebook, for example, have an announcement saying, 
all ads are taking longer to be accepted and will also deliver more slowly. So meaning that when you start an ad, it won't actually deliver as well as it would have before this whole coronavirus situation. So a few of the reasons why I think it could actually be quite a good thing to sell is one, Amazon Merch has completely stopped, right? Amazon Merch is no longer running and people who, are sell who sell on Amazon Merch are probably shifting a lot of their stuff onto websites like Teespring and Redbubble just because Amazon Merch have literally said no, no more. Likewise with Amazon Retail, they have also gone out and pretty much removed Amazon Prime and it's funny to see what removing Amazon Prime actually does in your brain thinking should I buy this item knowing I have to wait a month for it probably not right so Amazon have now pretty much taken away Prime for majority of the products and as well as that they have stopped all sellers sending new shipments in unless they are essentials medical food that kind of thing right but for a seller like me or sellers like a lot of sellers that I know, they are all unable to send their stock into Amazon because Amazon are favoring the essential items right now. And they're also favoring the essential items when it comes to selling. So Prime and all these other things. However, most of the essential items that are now on Amazon are sold out. So that pretty much says to you that Amazon is nearly dead at this point anyway. Amazon Merch is pretty much nearly gone. So people will be looking to other areas to actually fulfill their online shopping needs, whatever they may be. So these are all benefits to the whole print on demand business concept of will it work or not because people need an outlet to buy stuff online and if they can't do it from their regular places, they'll look to other places to actually do it, which could increase sales. So should you just completely stop selling your print on demand t-shirts online or should you double down? Should you design more designs during this period of time and try and sell the heck out of everything. What should you do? Well, I don't see why not. As long as your print on demand company is still fulfilling orders, they're still printing t-shirts, they're still able to actually send the t-shirt to the customer and the advertising platforms that you're using are still running advertisements, are still working, then I don't see why not. If anything, I think it's actually a good time to do it because there is so much the the no one is being distracted basically by all the retail shops offline and online that they would usually do retail at because in the first month, the first two months, they obviously went way up but then they probably couldn't fulfill the orders at a fast enough rate because they can't get the stuff from China, they can't get the stuff from anywhere. So this is actually a pretty good time for you to get into it just because there's a huge open space for it. And the website that we would usually use I just wanted to add one really quick one. Let me just do the one really quick one, which I thought was a really, really cool one that I forgot to mention. I had it on my list, but I forgot to mention it. And that was, I just, I looked up and I saw that 50% more people are using social media at this current point in time. And social media is exactly where we are going to advertise our t-shirts to. So we are going to advertise on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, whatever we're going to advertise, but 50% more people are using social media. So that's 50% more eyeballs on our stuff. So I thought that was a really, really good one. And I was really annoyed that I forgot to put it in. So let's just get back to the video and I'll just continue talking. The website that we would usually use, I would usually use is Teespring. So I want to just quickly read you a, um, an announcement from the Teespring website. COVID-19, how are prioritizing safety during this time of growth? So... <clears throat> So it says, as the global effect of coronavirus continues to evolve, we're making temporary changes to our services and operations to keep production going uninterrupted. They say site traffic is the, at the highest it's ever been. So that in itself tells you this is not a bad time to start print on demand. If anything, it's the best time to start print on demand. So they've got all hands on deck, they say, to uh, maintain optimal site performance. So 
here we go uninterrupted global production things are changing daily but we've got a plan in place to keep production going uninterrupted while all orders are being produced and shipped that's really good some products are experiencing longer delivery times but don't worry we're notifying your shoppers so that's amazing about teespring firstly that they are actually able to deliver all of these items and not only that there are obviously some longer delivery times which is understandable but teespring themselves because they handle all of the customer service they are emailing all of the people who buy your t-shirts so there's no actual extra work for you you're still just designing and creating ads and sitting back now they do say that they have temporarily paused delivery to certain destinations in asia and south america but then they say the majority of teespring orders are destined for the usa canada or europe and australia so this whole that change shouldn't really have an effect because those countries that they're restricting sales to they never really got that many sales anyway if you're selling in the us or the uk you're going to be absolutely fine and then it just says thank you and uh our goal is to support you blah 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 so if that doesn't tell you that selling online during this period of time during with the print on demand company is a good thing to do then i don't know what does because in my mind Print on demand is absolutely fine now. If anything, it will do better than it would normally do just because you've got a lot of people at home. So if you're worried about going into it or you are waiting for this video to decide whether or not to go into it, 100% go into it. Thank you for watching this video. I wanted to just tell you about that cool little announcement. I want to tell you that, um, and here it is, but, but before I tell you, don't forget to like this video if you have found any of this information useful. It takes you about three seconds. You could have liked it by now. I'll wait. All right, fine. Now, let me tell you this really, really cool announcement. Well, a part of it anyway. Me and my brother, we have an Amazon course, as you know, and it's at, it teaches you the whole process of Amazon. However, at this current period of time, you probably aren't thinking about setting up a whole Amazon business. You're thinking about saving money, right? All about saving money. But a lot of people still want to start an Amazon business. And we actually think this is the best time to do product research, to do supplier research, and actually start an Amazon business. But we don't expect you to want to pay for the entire course just because we understand you're trying to save money and online training is not a priority. So what we have done is we have created a lockdown edition of this course. I'm probably telling you too much here. This was meant to be a surprise video, but whatever. We, are, we have created a lockdown edition of the course of just the sections that you need during this lockdown period. And we have heavily, heavily discounted it to a point where it's basically no money at all. It's less than a grocery shop. So we've, we've done this in the hopes that people will still try and find products, find suppliers and, and prepare, the, prepare their businesses so that when this lockdown period is over, they can go and set up the entire Amazon business. And the best part about this entire thing is firstly, we're doing a 90 day money back guarantee, which has never been seen before. And two, the price of this course which i'm not going to ruin in this video because i do want to actually create a video about this but the price of this smaller uh, compact kind of research supply uh, product research and supplier course the price of that will be deducted if you decide to buy the full course down the line so if you say to us after we you want to buy the whole course you're now ready to start this whole business we will deduct the price of this course from that one so you're not paying anything extra you're not paying anything more than anyone else would be paying that is what i wanted to say in this video i just want to say thank you so much for watching i will try and post tomorrow but it's very unlikely it looks like i'm staggering my post every two days at this point but i will try and post i just want to say thank you for watching if you haven't already subscribed don't forget to hit that subscribe button don't forget to hit the like button i don't know why i'm pointing at the mic when i'm saying hit the like button but don't forget to hit the thumbs up and yeah I'll see you in tomorrow's video or the next video that i do